How to find your soulmate at EDC in four easy steps. Step one, go to EDC for the first time. You've only ever heard of EDC and now you're finally going. At first, you didn't know what to expect, but you end up having the time of your life. It surpasses your wildest expectations and it's like nothing you've ever been to before. Step two, tell the crew. You want them to discover how jaw-dropping the stages are, the amazing artists that play there, dancing underneath the electric sky, all the micro experiences, and so much more. Step three, go to EDC with the crew. While there, you're not only enjoying all the partying and dancing your asses off, but you also love seeing your friends' faces as they see everything for the first time. Then, while you're enjoying the festival, something unexpected happens. You turn to see one of your friends getting a light show from a stranger, and BAM! Three seconds later, they're making out. Your first thought is, DAMN! What just happened? This went from zero to a hundred real quick. Next thing you know, your friend is missing. You start texting her a security question, just to make sure she's really okay, because if she answers wrong, the entire Las Vegas Police Department will rain down justice like you've never seen before. Everyone spends the rest of EDC hanging out, getting to know this new man, having fun, living large, and discovering that he actually lives in the same area as we do. How serendipitous. During the next three years, they embark on many adventures, then bam, he pops the question, and they become a happily engaged couple ready to start the next chapter of their lives. Sarah experienced her first rave at EDC four years ago, met the love of her life, has now come full circle, getting married at the place that started it all, EDC Las Vegas. You're so happy that your friend has found her soulmate, and who could have predicted that it would have been at EDC? Step four is realizing that it's not just about meeting your significant other at EDC, but about learning that soulmates come in many forms not just the person you end up marrying, but also the friends you've spent those magical three days with who have now become family and lifetime soulmates.